Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to plumb an Intex sand filter and hook it up to a backwash tank. Here's all the materials that you're going to need to hard plumb your Intex sand filter to PVC as well as your backwash tank. As always, I'm going to list all the materials as I go along with it.
What I've done right here is I've scared the top to the bottom using this band right here. Then I went around and I tightened down all of our connections. Now what we're going to do is we're going to prime the pump. The first thing that you want to do is you want to set it to the closed position. You want to loosen the intake just a bit so that we can angle it upwards. 
press down on the check valve while filling it. Once it gets to the top, you want to press down on this so that it opens up the closed position to fill up the tank while pressing down on the check valve so that's the one to go. Once that's filled, you let it close back off. Come back here, fill it up one last time. It's up to the top. Angle it back down into the water. Tighten up the connection. And then what we want to do is we're going to switch it from the closed position to the filter position. And right after we do that, we're going to turn it off. And it may take a couple tries, but it will try. I turn back on and off, gets a little bit more air out of the system. There we have it. So that's how you prime the smaller pump without a leaf catcher. I'm going to go over to this one. I'm going to show you how to prime the one that's a little bit larger. So this one's a lot simpler. I prefer these larger ones with leaf catchers. All you have to do is you remove this, you fill it up with the check valve attached so that fills up the check valve. Once this reservoir is filled, you tighten this back down and you simply turn it on. Before we go, I'm going to familiarize you with the sand filter and how it works. So you have seven positions on this dial right here. You're only going to concern yourself with four of them. And that's going to be the closed position so that you can find the smaller pumps like this a lot easier. You're going to worry about the backwash, the rinse, and the filter. So, let's say that this is slowed down a bit and we want to backwash it so that it gets all the gunk out of the system. What we're going to do is we're going to lift this and put it over to the backwash. We're going to open up our backwash tank with this valve right here, and then we simply turn it on. So right now, this backwash tank is filling up with backwash water. Once you want to stop it, you simply turn this off, turn your valve back, and now after a backwash, what you want to do is you want to go to the rinse position. This is going to tamp down any of the media inside there so it doesn't come back in, out into your system. So you simply turn that on. You're not going to see anything come out of either intake or the outflow into the backwash and you let that run for about 30 seconds. Once that's done, turn it back off, switch it over to the filter position, and turn it back on. And the prime should stay there because of our check valve. Now, this also has a timer. You can set it from 2 to 12 hours. On a tank this size, you're only going to run it 2 hours. You really don't need to do that for a tank this size. So, I have it set to 2. And you just come over here on the other side of the switch. And now this will run for two hours, every 24 hour cycle. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this one, please check out the next video where I'm going to be installing a rain barrel so you can fill up your system.